Hey guys, today we're going to make some spinach dip. So what you're going to do is saute your spinach. I'm using fresh spinach. You also can use frozen and thaw it out, but I use fresh spinach and now I'm just chopping it up into smaller bits. Okay, so I'm going to take one onion and I dice it up. Let me tell you, this onion here was giving me the hardest time. It did not want to get peeled. Now, if you don't like onion or the flavor of onion, you don't have to put it in there. But if if you don't want the onion pieces, you can also use onion powder. So now we're going to go ahead and saute our onions in a little bit of canola oil. You can use whatever oil that you have. You can use even olive oil. So what we're going to do is cook these onions until they're translucent. Now in this container we have a block of cream cheese that is at room temperature and our spinach that we cut up and we're going to add our sauteed onions. Let's mix it all up. Now you can also use a hand mixer with it but I love the way when you do it um, just with, with your hand without using a hand mixer because then it doesn't tear up the spinach and make it really bitty small pieces. You're just going to cream that all together. Then we're going to add some season. We're going to add some salt, obey seasoning. You can also use Cajun seasoning and it's optional. We're going to have some crushed black pepper and stir now we're going to add some sour cream Now let's add our mozzarella cheese. And a little bit more of the Obey seasoning. Can you tell I like that seasoning? And I'm going to top it with some cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese. You don't have to do this. You can add more mozzarella to the top of it. But I just wanted the kind of orange color on top. You can even just use cheddar if you like to. And you're going to bake it at 350 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. Now let's get to the bread. We're going to put some slices of butter into our pan 
You can also use cooking spray if you like to, but I love the buttery taste on the French loaf bread. Let's give it a quick stir. I didn't leave it on that side long I just wanted the butter to kind of soak into the top of the bread and then I flipped it over you want to cook it until it's golden brown Alright guys, here is our spinach dip. Look how cheesy. And guys, I'm telling you what, this was so delicious and so easy to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.